Yes, you want the square root, see? Yes. Wait, I will come to it, okay? All right, so having this, okay, understanding of finding the part of the curve that is below the x-axis, okay, then we find that the values is negative 3 to 3. Okay, so that will be the answer to this question. Okay, now, why is it that we cannot take square root? Okay, that's why our understanding of this inequality is very important. Okay, these are the y values. They must be less than or equal to zero. The graph is an equivalent representation of the equation of this inequality. So it must be consistent. Okay, so our understanding here is correct that we want our y coordinates to be less than or equal to zero, and that means it is this part of the graph. Okay, which gives us our p values to be between negative 3 to 3. Okay, so the understanding here is correct. But why is it that I cannot take square root? We must keep in mind that square root is not quite an operation. Okay, it is not like your plus minus times divide. Okay, in an inequality, the property that it has, or the properties that satisfies inequality is to plus minus times divide only. You cannot take square root on both sides of an inequality. Very different from how we do an equation. Okay? If you were to, let's say, do square root. Okay? Let me grant you your wish. Huh? Okay? You put the 9 over to the right and then you think I can square root. But what does the square root actually mean? End up you get less than or equals to what? Plus or minus 3. Huh? So, what does this inequality even mean? P less than or equals to 3 or P less than or equals to negative 3 So you think about it in number 9 cents What does this even mean? Is it less than or equals to 3 or less than or equals to negative 3? If you have your number 9 3 is over here huh? Negative 3 is here huh? Less than or equals to 3 will be represented in this manner Less than or equals to negative 3 will, represent, will be represented in this manner So what exactly is the answer? Are the answers over here satisfying this inequality? Okay, so there is that contradiction, right? So we must be very clear that in inequalities, you cannot go and take square root on both sides. It is different from how we do equations. Okay, so this one also, you thank you with what we already understood out of the graph. There is a contradiction, right? Okay, so we cannot take square root. You understand? We cannot take square root. Okay? Questions? Clear? Alright. So that will be the answer to your question 8A in your homework. Okay? For which I will not uh, be labeling it in your uh, homework video tomorrow.
will be less than zero. So anything that's below. Okay? So because the coefficient of x squared here is positive coefficient. is going to be U-shape. Okay? I don't need the y-axis because sometimes the y-axis could distract us okay, from, um, from having a correct representation of the graph. Now. Because at this point, I do not know what are the x percents yet. Okay? So I actually need not have this. Alright? So having this is sufficient as a working. Okay? So I need to know what are the x percents. How do I determine the x intercepts? For well, most of the time, you can factorize the quadratic expression that's given to you. Okay? So x squared minus 3x minus 4, if you were to factorize it, that would be x minus 4, x plus 1. Okay? So how to do it? You do your cost method. Lah. Alright? Or whatever method that you previously already learned. will help us to know that my roots are going to be negative 1 and 4. Okay? Why? Because I let this be equal to 0 and then I see that x equals to 4 of x equals to x. That will give us these two points. Okay? So after getting these two points already, we want to satisfy this inequality. That means it is less than 0 that means you're looking at this portion of the curve that is below the x-axis whose y-coordinates are negative and therefore this is the range of your x-values and that will be between negative 1 and 4 so x is greater than negative 1 but lesser than 4 okay. On the number line, so to represent it on the number line, right? Okay, we are looking at between negative one to four, and the inequality sign doesn't have any equal sign, so it must be open circle. Okay, so this is the number line that we will uh, draw to represent it as a solution. Sorry, the arrow on the left side. Usually we do it on the right side. I just draw a right side. Yes. Okay. Questions? Yes. Yes, but usually it's factorizable. Now I want us to be able to go through. 
categorizing very good things. Okay, any other questions? Okay. We understand why we are this? No? Because we are trying to know what is the S of the set. Or else how will you know for your curve what is this number? So now I'm telling you all that you have to put it equals to zero because now your S is the set of zero. Why equals to zero? That is the question. But now to solve the question, I must know what is the S in the set. Okay, now you see me on the last <laughs>